Are you ever going to get used to the Manila crowd? You, you rented two rooms now just for a press conference. Uh, no, I love, that's why I say I love Filipino f fans. I love Philippines. Uh, it's always amazing to come back. But yeah, I mean, one championship is literally blowing up all over the country right now. And again, that's why I think we're, we're going to have record uh, ratings, uh, not only just in the Philippines, but across the world. Uh, with regards to the One Hero Series, is that going to be exclusive to the Philippines for next year? Yes, uh, well, we have One Hero Series uh, in China right now. And so we're going to roll out the Philippines version uh, next year with Globe. Uh, huge, huge news. So again, giving more opportunities to all Filipinos uh, to celebrate their heroes, but also all martial arts across the Philippines who dream of being on the big show. The One Hero Series basically is a reality TV show that follows the Filipinos' athletes, grassroots level, and the winner gets a hundred thousand US dollar contract to join one championship. So obviously it's huge, huge money, huge, huge future at stake. Chappy, talk about the one championship esports coming next year. Yes. So uh, we made an announcement yesterday. Uh, one championship has launched one esports in conjunction with Dentsu, uh, Japan's largest uh, multi-billion dollar global media agency. Um, and we're bringing the world's biggest games like Dota 2, Street Fighter, Tekken, uh, the list goes on and on. Um, it's a whole list of the very the world's biggest games with the world's best teams, the world's best players. Um, so if you think what you've seen with one, what one Challenge did with martial arts, you're going to see it bigger and better with One Esports, but at the same time combining these events, combining these heroes, combining the content. You know, we're already in 140 countries, uh, so having one uh, Esports content and martial arts content across 140 countries, the content creation, the world title fights, uh, the world title tournaments. Um, I mean, again, it's, uh, you know, it's huge, huge. It makes one championship the largest producer of live sports for millennials uh, in Asia. Does that mean what will host a Dota major coming, coming soon? I will just say we have some big announcements to make surrounding Dota 2. I know that's huge in Philippines and I have some big, big announcements coming. When are you bringing uh, one sports to the Philippines? Like I said, I, I don't want to talk yet. We have a, we, we, we announced our first three shows, which is basically Tokyo, uh, October 5th and 6th, um, and then December in the Philippines. Uh, sorry, December in Singapore, which is December uh, 20 to 22nd, and then Jakarta in April. But I believe we have another event in January that we're going to be announcing uh, for One Esports. But again, uh, this year we did 45 martial arts events. We're expected to do 80 events next year, just to give you perspective of how big esports is going to be. Um, and and um, like, yeah, I mean, just our announcement alone, we are the Asia's largest uh, esports uh, championship series already. No other esports uh, organizer in Asia has the reach, the scale across 140 countries that we do of our live events, our live broadcast, our content creation are millions and millions of fans uh, on our social media. Um, so it's it's gonna be huge for esports and it's gonna help all esports, whether you're a fan, you're a gamer, you're part of the ecosystem, you're a supplier, you're, you're, you're a vendor, it doesn't matter. It's literally gonna lift esports uh, into the mainstream uh, and esports in Asia has been looking for a leader like one championship to take charge and, and elevate esports to what it deserves. Um, Chakri, uh, the all Filipino fight guard here in Manila, Brandon Vera talked about it. Do you see that happening in the near future? Yeah, I mean, you know, anything is possible. I love uh, throwing the biggest and baddest events in the Philippines. I mean, look at look at this event. Did you ever think, any of you, did you ever think that you were going to see Eddie Alvarez, DJ, Edward Falayang, Danny King, and all in one card? I mean, and on top of it, Rock Tang, Tidman and Jonathan Haggerty, literally greatest martial arts on the planet. Um, you know, if you'd asked me three years ago that would this happen, Chargery, I was like, you know, even I'm blown away. I'm blown away, man. I'm just, I'm so blessed to be living the life of my dreams. Honestly, this is just way bigger than I ever thought, you know, when I first started one championship uh, eight years ago. Any questions? Yeah. You actually said uh, at the podium that the person you're looking forward to the fight between Edward Pelaya and Eddie Alvarez. Why is that and uh, how do you see this fight going? Well, it's such huge stakes, you know. It's obviously, uh, Edward Falayang is obviously one of our biggest heroes, one of the most popular heroes, especially in the Philippines. Eddie Alvarez is the only man to win the UFC uh, world title as well as the Bellator world title. He had a rough start in one championship, but, you know, I believe in Eddie uh, as much as I believe in Edward. Um, it's, you know, I love both guys. 
um, and may the best warrior win that night. But uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a war, and I think you know if the Philippines, if the country of Philippines is fully behind Edward, he might do some amazing things. You know, but again, I think it's genuinely a 50-50 fight. Um, but I also believe someone's gonna get knocked out. Last question for me. The last time we were here in Manila, uh, there was a good post fight press conference. I'm not sure if it was a fan or uh, one of the media actually asked you if you know if you would ever put up or if you actually it's just a request for you to uh, have DJ fight here in Manila. And now he's here. Yes. Right. And it actually you actually said yes right off the bat. And yes. You promised that yes, you'll, yes. you'll bring him here yes. in Manila. And a lot of people see that you know it tells a lot about you're not just you're not just a promoter who just you know post promises around and like that. Yeah. You, no. You, you no. I, I, I want to hear all Filipinos. Who should I sign next around the world and bring them to the Philippines? Like, um, you're absolutely right. You know, I love the Philippines, and when they said DJ, I said, fine, let's bring DJ. Let's surprise him with Eddie Alvarez. Let's make a mega fight. Let's bring in, you know, two world title fights. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely the biggest card in Philippines history. And again, like, please, especially every reporter here, make sure you write tons of stories. Make it huge. I want every Filipino to be watching. If we can get 100 million Filipinos watching this on ABS-CBN, on our mobile app with Globe, Let's break records together, man. Let's celebrate Philippines. Let's celebrate Filipino heroes. Let's celebrate Philippine culture. Let's show the entire world why Philippines is amazing. Chatri, is there any update on when you will guest in the Joe Rogan podcast? Yeah, so Joe has invited me a few times already. You know, I, I just don't have the time to fly to the U.S. But I'm, I, I promise Joe I'm definitely going to be on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful that he's a big supporter of One Championship, um, and you know I'm so grateful to him um, for spreading the message. You know, it's it's we're big in Asia, but people don't realize how big we are globally, right? I mean, so for him to to come out and say that you know um, to acknowledge that One Championship is the world's largest martial arts organization with uh, significantly larger viewership than any other global promotion, you know, I'm grateful for uh, Joe for spreading the truth.